Chef Buck here and today we're going to cook up a true down home old timey country salad made with saltine crackers. Redneck! Yeah. I got this recipe from Camera Girl's mom. We're in her kitchen right now. In fact, I just got off the phone with her mother asking her about the origin of this salad because I had never heard of it. You know, I spent a lot of my time in Georgia when I was a little kid because my grandma, she lived way off in the woods in Georgia. Never heard of this here until uh, Camera Girl's mother made it. And uh, she was saying that her grandmother used to make it for her and her mother. So it's been around for a long time. Come down here and look at these ingredients. Super simple. I mean, there's nothing to this. Crackers, mayonnaise, tomato, egg, green onions, salt and pepper. Sounds like a recipe for disaster. And it's going to look kind of funky, but it's delicious. So easy to make. Just take a sleeve of crackers. Then you just want to smash them up by hand. You don't need all the crackers, so if somebody wants to eat one, that's fine. Don't want to smash them too much. No, no, no. Just give them a crunch, crunch, crunch with your hands. Boom, boom, boom. And you want them rough. You know, leave them nice chunky pieces like this here. You don't want it to be super duper fine. And now we're just going to add the rest of our ingredients in there. You know, you could just put one lonely green onion. No! Or you could put a bunch of green onions in here. But you know... Two or three is probably a good number. I got four here because I had to trim off a lot of the green part. Which is unfortunate because I would like to have the green, you know, for a little more color. But we're just going to have to make do with that onion flavor and less color. So let's throw our onion in there. I tell you, the first time Camera Girl's uh, mom made this salad for me, I just thought it just sounded stupid. I was like, what? But it's so delicious, but you have to eat it when you make it because it doesn't hold up over time very well. Well, you got tomatoes and crackers. And mayonnaise. And I'm just going to do one egg, one boiled egg. You could do two, depending on how much you like eggs. And I'm just going to cut this up into some little chunky chunk pieces. You can add relish if you want. You can add a lot of stuff to this salad, but we're just going to do the bare bones basic. Uh, you know, I think uh, a little bit of horseradish would be good in here, or some hot sauce, or for a little bit of zing, maybe some paprika or chili powder, but we're just going to do salt and pepper. Uh, but now we're going to do our tomato. I got three tomatoes right here. No. But that's probably too much. Yeah. Camera girl's right, so let's see, let's see. We'll go ahead and get rid of this one. And then if we need it, then we will uh, use it. But, uh... I got some cherry tomatoes here. I like using cherry tomatoes. Seems like cherry tomatoes have more flavor than uh, these bigger tomatoes nowadays. But I don't have enough, I don't think. So I'll just do these. Plus there's more moisture in these big ones. And moisture with saltines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't like it too moist. I like it a little bit dry. But the mayonnaise is really going to uh, make it wet. So just give your tomato a rough chop. You could just do one. <laughs> you think so? I like the tomato in it. You just want me to put half of it in here? No, it's okay. It's just sure? it really doesn't Well, here, I'll, I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll just set half of that aside. Well, what you going to do? You can't put a tomato in the fridge and then expect well, no, to eat we'll, it. Well, no, we'll just eat it like that. I'll just set it aside, though, and we'll see if we want to put it into the uh, salad. Now, we'll throw this in here. All righty, okay. now i got about a cup of mayonnaise here. You can adjust the mayonnaise to taste. And that's all there is to this. Now we just mix it up. Salt and pepper. Oh, that's righty, salt and pepper. You want to do that to taste, but you really want to uh, add it at the end. You know, give it a taste test, actually, before you even add the salt. Because I'm using saltines, and these are the regular salted saltines. So there might be enough salt in here already. Let me go ahead and add some pepper. And what's really great in this is cracked pepper, fresh cracked pepper. And I don't have that. Yes, you do. Do I? Yeah. Your mama's got some? Where's it at? I couldn't find it. Yeah, it's on the table. Huh? Really? In the little shaker? No, in the colored one. The red, blue, green. That's a lot of mayonnaise. Alrighty, we do have some fresh uh, cracked pepper in the world's ugliest pepper thingamabob. What? I tell you, this looks tacky. What, did your mother steal this from a casino? Alright, so throw a little bit of pepper on there, or lots of pepper actually. Your idea of horseradish sounds really good. I know, horseradish I think would be awesome in here. But this is how your mom always makes it. Just plain Jane, and I think you're right, I don't, I don't think we need that other half of tomato. Alrighty, let me give a taste test here. Look at that. Doesn't that look dumb? 
I mean, saltine crackers, <laughs> mayonnaise, <laughs> tomato, green onions, just like an egg. Throw that in a bowl. And this is so good right now. Fresh like this. And you see how quick it comes together. You can make this last thing before you uh, serve your dinner. And it's going to be so good. It's like a picnic-y dish mm. in the summer. It's still got some of that crunch with the crackers. But that'll go fast. You know, if this sits around for, uh, for very long, you're not going to have that crunch. And the bite of the onion, it's just an awesome balance of flavors. And I'm not going to add any salt in here. You know, because I think there's plenty of salt from the saltines. And I know uh, Camera Girl's mom would throw a bunch more salt in here. And even Camera Girl will too. But I'm middle-aged. Alright, let's see if you did it proud. Because it's such a difficult recipe. <laughs> well, did I make it alrighty? Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to go wrong, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It is just decadent and delectable. Ah! It is ridiculous how good those ingredients are. There you have it. Super simple, down-home, country cracker salad. It's ridiculous, and definitely try it. Try it, and let me know what you think. Because you're going to be shocked. You're going to be flabbergasted. You're going to be... Why don't you just ask them to... Surprised at how good it is. Tell you uh, other simple recipes yeah, they have. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, have a, do you have a weird recipe? Now, I'll, I'll put a link to the pear salad around here, too. What other kind of country trailer-y recipes do we have? You got a martini and a mason yeah, jar yeah, glass. Yeah, no. I'll link a couple of weird type recipes to this here. But if you want to print out this recipe, go to myfoodchannel.com. You can print all the recipes over there. Uh, subscribe. And uh, really appreciate you watching. Ding the bell. And we'll see you in the future.